join me in welcoming our next performer, Patrick Jeffries. Thank you, Amanda. And, uh, that was beautiful and it was an excellent presentation. Hi, my name is Pat Jeffries. I work as a peer partner in behavioral health care for Pacific Clinics at the Wellness Center in Pasadena. For 11 years, I have facilitated a creative writing group encouraging self-expression and healing through writing. The poem I'll be reading is about my first manic episode and psychotic break from reality when I left USC with four units remaining to graduate. It is my hope in sharing this work that folks will be encouraged to own their story and to find their past in a way that is true to themselves. At 23, he dove into a dream. Feverishly pressing 13, that floor not to be, know what I mean? Among wailing voices, sirens, Penelope screams. Frantically fashioning a speech for the USC football team to rival what Martin Luther King Jr. can sing, Dine to Connect. Drawing his line in the sand, his square foot of space, his king's X. Nothing could exceed his ego's reach. We're on fire with manic flair. If only he could translate his spirit and get there. Just get there. He'd need his elixir of navy blue, smearing off a hundred proof in Red Bull, poured of an ice stack high and a double gulp cup nice and full. Everybody's here to play. Wants to be made, needs to get laid. It's just an extraordinary madness at the end of the day. An extraordinary madness we all share along the way. Inhaling super long cools like it could recover one's breath. Excited, on the verge of agitated, riding the edge of death. Pumping up on true and creed, singing hootie hoo, getting high than the eye can see. He was at heaven's gate, somehow been granted the key. But heaven could wait, he still had a play to make for glory and immortality's sake. If only it is that easy to earn the right to sacrifice for history. When it is learned, it is earned through a rite of passage that is mystery. That wisdom would take years to acquire. Now he was inflamed in immediacy and urgency, emerging on fire. His hair, unwashed, spite, wild, and untamed, rose blonde, ascending, looking like dancing flames. Everybody's here to play. Wants to be made, needs to get laid. It's just an extraordinary madness at the end of the day. An extraordinary madness we all share along the way. He wanted eyeliner, war paint, mama's red panties, wearing his black gold monogram robe, otherwise naked. This anticipated ritual and war exchange was booming from his heart and sacred, though he wanted it to be real. Something that others would remember and feel. He needed the camera crew. Maybe mama could get a hold of John Singleton. All right, thankfully that was nearly a decade before the iPhone in 1984 sight. It 
It was November 1999. And this was how he was getting down. A football god to be like Vince Lombardi or Jim Brown. Just as Prince had predicted, it was time to start partying. Ready to challenge the Trojan team to a game of bull in the ring. Man, this was a furious scene. A serious thing. If it was a cartoon, his nostrils would be releasing steam. Everybody's here to play. Wants to be made, needs to get laid. It's just an extraordinary madness at the end of the day. In extraordinary madness, we all share along the way. He had his daddy's oarsman back, rocky slab of beef beating lats and psychotic like that. Well, hell, every bet would have paid back on the fact that with a shoulder and forearm blast, he could cream a cruising Cadillac in his tracks, let alone contact with any of their linebackers, safeties, backs, and linemen, no matter how powerful, fat, and or fast. And he just said frenetically, go ahead, let them wear pads. He just needed moments of Victoria's Secret. Woo, imagine that. Now that's bad. <clears throat> his mom promised to meet his demands. This drew him in closer and kept him in the trance. Things weren't what they seemed. His mom was like the Pied Piper. In this dream, he thought he was a predator, more like a baby bunny rabbit within reach of a venomous viper. Everybody's here to play. Wants to be made, needs to get laid. It's just an extraordinary madness at the end of the day. An extraordinary madness we'll share along the way. His mom. carried him in the promise of glory that would ultimately later be translated in the story. She lured him into her car. He thought they were headed to USC. Ironically, she landed him into UCLA's psych ward hospitality. He was a player, an actor, up for improvisation, spontaneity, kept stepping into the act, wildly brand new to full-blown insanity. He knew how the hell to express what was wrong within him. Lines blurred as he threatened to trample the sacred, flirting with sin. Psychotic, paradoxical associations flying through his mind fast like, fight the power! And I need help. I don't know how to ask. He wanted it all. He wanted it now. But he didn't know how to bring it about. He really didn't know how. One thing he would learn by being burned, language of pain. For a mania as a steady dame is hardly to be trusted as a faithful flame. Everybody's here to play. Wants to be made, needs to get laid. It's just an extraordinary madness at the end of the day. An extraordinary madness we all share along the way. But do you know it? What's your madness? <laughs> All right, beautiful. I just want to say, first of all, that was a lot of fun. I hope it wasn't scary, but <laughs> I appreciate y'all giving me the time and space to tell my story. I really had to tell that story, and in that way, so thank you.